How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another JHR review. And today I have two packs of iWaco erasers, but instead of giving away which ones that I'm going to get in the pack, I'm going to move them to the side for right now. But I have quite a few erasers that I picked up this last uh, few weeks, and I want to show you guys some of the ones that I got. So without further ado, let's unbox these, and I have a little bit of a top down today, so I'm going to show you guys real close a lot of the cool erasers that I got. Alright, let's move this over here. So this one comes on a little tiny kind of cookie tray. And it's interesting because I had one many, many, many videos ago that also came on a tray. And it's kind of cool that I finally got one that comes with that again. Let's go ahead and look at the first one. This one right here kind of has like a kind of cream in the center. It's probably some kind of, uh, what are they called? Kind of like a puff, a puff pastry kind of thing. And then it has some kind of green top. I'm not really sure what that is. Um, it could just be like a standard icing. Or it could be something else. But yeah, I'm not too sure about the green stuff. But uh, it also comes apart into four different pieces as well. So that's pretty cool. Didn't expect it because it had such a small little area over here. I almost thought it was connected into one. Let's move that to the side. And zoom back in. All right, and then we have the one next to it. We have the same kind of, you know, little puff pastry kind of thing, but this time we have a green top instead. It's kind of interesting if you move these side to side. They do technically use the same mold for the toppings of these. So, and of course it comes apart in four different pieces. Bringing one of these in, this is just kind of like a simple kind of, um, what they, what would they call these? Madelines, I think? Yeah, I think this would be a Madeline cookie. And this is just one solid piece, which I'm not used to seeing. You can see they have some details in the breading, but I'm not used to seeing these just be one single piece. Speaking of those, we have one more next to it as well. This one's kind of cool. It's like a nice kind of vibrant green. But same with the other one, it actually doesn't come apart. Let's move those out of the way. Zoom back in at the bottom. But then we have these guys, which I've actually never done before. These are some kind of interesting little uh, cookies, it looks like. So it comes apart into two pieces, obviously. If we put our fingers between to pull it apart. Wait a minute. It doesn't. This is a fake seam. That's really interesting. But the center, if you push it like this, actually comes out. Let's see. We can pop that out of there. It's a little bit hard, but I might be able to get it. Mm, and there we go. How cool is that? So normally, they would be on like multiple, multiple different pieces. But this one, it has a fake seam line, and it kind of just has like this inlay with a specific design to keep the uh, little thing in its little tiny notch right there. Let me pop that back in there like that. There we go. It definitely doesn't fit as well as it did the first time, but uh, I mean, you probably wouldn't really be taking these out anyways normally. And I'm not going to pull these out, but this is a chocolate one right here. Really looks like chocolate, though, when you kind of, like, move the light on it. It really looks like chocolate. Fake seam line as well. We got kind of like a, I don't know, strawberry one right here. Making me hungry. And then right here we have a chocolate mint, it almost looks like. Very cool. All right, and now we kind of finished this platter. Let's go ahead and open the next thing of erasers and see what we got in there. Ooh. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open this one and I'll drag one in individually this time to show you guys. All right, so the first one we have in is a dragonfly and pardon if anyone is squeamish of bugs. So this is a dragonfly. We zoom in on it. And this actually is mounted to a leaf right here. We have a little peg at the bottom that goes into the, I guess you could say thorax of the, would that be it, of the dragonfly. And then the wings come apart as well. And then from the bottom right here, it also comes apart as well from the wings. So it looks like it's about a four-parter. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Dragonflies are so mysterious. What do you guys think? And then some of these ones, which is really interesting that they decided to do this. Not my favorite choice, but some of these were just sat on top. They don't actually have a peg that goes inside of the leaf. So I guess technically we didn't just get a bug. We got a leaf eraser as well. So that's kind of interesting. I like how they have the details on the back though. Kind of cool. And then we have this little butterfly right here with little interesting designs at the bottom. Looks as though it comes apart on the top. Yep. Has a little tiny insert right there for the eyes, specifically only for the eyes actually. And then two little bottom pegs holding the top and the bottom together. And that one goes right through the wings in order to keep them in place. That's pretty cool. Kind of cute. Worried about that eye though, because I, I think that that's just like a tiny little, a little like tube that could fall out pretty easily. Let's move this out of the way. And then we have some cute ladybugs right here. So right here we have a orange one, and let's actually drag in the other one too. So we have an orange one and a red one. Now, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but when I was a kid, someone said that there is a ladybug, and then there's a kind of very, very close looking um, thing to a ladybug, but it's actually a beetle and it's supposed to bite you. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure ladybugs are also beetles. They both look like beetles, but I'm not too sure if there's like a good, nice ladybug and then another one that's not as friendly. I'm not too sure if my mom just said that to me on a whim or not. You know how parents can be. All right. And this guy comes right off the leaf. And it looks as though the actual little tiny wings come off separately. Let's actually pull this guy apart. Actually, no, it's one large piece. So we can actually just get my fingernail under there. That's pretty cool. If you look right there real close, you actually can see that the little pegs, they actually come up and they push through this tiny little section right here in order to be able to make up the dots. Pretty cute. So these are just two parters. Well, actually, technically, three parters because of the peg that it goes on to. Right there. Pretty cute. And then the same thing with this guy, so we're not going to take him apart. What do you guys like better, a red ladybug or an orange ladybug? And then if we bring this guy over here, we have another one that's not attached to the leaf. So we have another leaf eraser. But if you notice, there is a little bit of a cutoff right there. So what I'm assuming is if we move this right here, we take this guy off. If we count the spaces, so that's one, two, three. Yep. This is where the peg would have been. So... If they choose to put the peg in right there, then there's no kind of weird little tiny thing. But if they choose not to put the peg in right here, maybe there's like a little machine that comes down and shaves that off, and that's why there's that little mark. Or maybe there's a separate mold for it, who knows? That's kind of interesting, nevertheless. So right here we have a little bumblebee, or it could be a wasp, but I think it's a bee. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a bee. So this one, its wings come off like that. Go ahead and zoom in. And then they can also pop back on as well. Kind of cool that they're actually a little bit see-through. And then in the 
the center, it actually comes apart too. We can pull it apart easy. There we go. And then all the little ridges go through on each side in order to make up the design. And then it probably has a pig like the other one going through the eye section in order to make up the little designs right there. Cool little uh, antennas. And then we have this thing right here. I don't know if they just threw that in here to just kind of, I don't know, be funny or not. <laughs> but uh, is this supposed to be a fly? I've never seen a bug that looks like a, it's wearing a Halloween costume before. But same design as the other one, so I'm not going to take it apart. This one definitely is creepier, huh? Oh, and that one also came with a complimentary leaf. And then the last one is a really pretty butterfly like the other one with a complimentary leaf. And the bottom is the same as the other, but I like the wings on this a lot more. You could also interchange these if you wanted to since it's the same design. And we have that little pig for the eyes as well right there. Push that back together. Cute little antenna. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, that was two packs of erasers. It came with quite a few. And these are from iWacko. And these are all puzzle erasers if you've not caught on yet. And uh, I really like these. And I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah. A huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.